My name is Linda Smith and I am the City Manager for the City of Dublin and in that role I oversee all city operations. My name is Dustin Steen, um, I'm the Recreation Supervisor for the City of Dublin. Uh, the Wave is a Dublin owned and ran water park, swim school and aquatic competition center. I am Shelby Perry and I'm the Recreation Coordinator for Parks and Community Services and I work at Heritage Park and Museums. My name is Henry Sue. I'm a Recreation Coordinator for the City of Dublin. I'm the Senior Center Director. Uh, I manage all operations here, uh, including staffing, our meal programs, our senior recreation activities, trips and travel, um, and other various duties. Well, I found out about Futures Explored from one of my uh, old friends, Carolyn Zalewski, and we thought the next best step was to have our staff meet with representatives of Futures Explored and really talk about what are the objectives for Futures Explored in helping the, the young adults get that job experience and then how does that relate to what we need as a city in terms of service support for our community. Futures Explored first came about, got on the radar maybe four to five months ago, I would say, um, and just exploring the option of having uh, adults with developmental disabilities come join us working here and being part of our community. Uh, we thought it was a great idea, it was a great way for my part-time staff who are typically, you know, high school, college, and some adults who work here to develop their leadership skills and to be able to mentor someone and they're all part of our community as well and it also exposes our seniors and our staff to diversity and inclusion um, and making it uh, a great place for everyone to be at. I know for Heritage Park we have a lot of uh, shifts that are just greeting visitors and doing day-to-day -day tasks that's mainly what um, the shifts consist of um, and I definitely had openings. Heritage Park is just picking back up, so to get people over here, any staff would be great. We started meeting with our manager and he told us kind of where to look for who's interested in what. Um, we reached out to some of the participants, scheduled an interview, um, and that's how we got involved with the program. Our supervisor in our department meeting let us know about the Futures Explored program, um, what the opportunities were. Um, he created a list for us of different people with their different um, uh, interests, where they were interested in working since we do have so many different facilities. And then we were able to look at those and say, you know, this person's interested in working at the Senior Center, let's go ahead and meet with them and see if they'd be a good fit. Uh, my name is Noah and I work at the Dublin Senior Center. Hi, my name is AJ Navalis. I work at a summer job at The Wave in Dublin. I'm Bella Gavino, and I work at The Wave. My name is Kush Balji, everyone, and I work at uh, Dublin Heritage Parks and Museums. My name is Ash Swanson Lennox, and I do work here at The Wave in Dublin. My name is Katie Jackson. I worked at The, the Wave. My name is Richard Panda. Uh, I work at the Wave Water Park and I am a recreation aide. A recreation aide does, um, so they, they do the um, do wristbands at the front desk. It's been quite nice. I always feel a little bit more free from being away from home and being away from family. You know, getting a little bit of some fresh air. I, do I know? I organize books in the, in the library and I sanitize the door handles and I I, I, I clean the, and I put the trash and throw it away. I was a little hesitant, but I was like, I gotta do this. I I need to learn. I'm not I'm not I'm not dependent on my parents anymore. I think it'll treat me how to like know other jobs in case my dream isn't fully there yet. Then I will know how to do this and then do that and then still make my way up to make more money to join like groups or bands, make enough money to buy certain things I need. I feel like in general a job counts to like earning towards money in life. Like I feel like if I have a job then you know I won't just be sitting around home dozing off or having lazy boredom just sleeping or whatever. I get to like experience in the real world what it's like getting a job and then I can, you know, enroll for it and do something about it and get paid later onwards, you know, and then I'll hopefully rewards have get become successful, you know. If I don't know the that the last names, uh, she will help me and look them up. She would also like help me like to tell me like like for the wristbands 
that can like count how many wristbands like some people when people need it like when they're checking in. I'll be honest I was a little nervous in the beginning because the day I dropped her off it was a lot of people and it was an unknown place for her so I was a little uh, nervous how she would take it but uh, she did fine and I think she's grown a lot as part of this journey. She felt needed, she felt like she had good responsibilities, she felt that uh, she was making a contribution. Uh, it was good that she had to be there at a certain time, dressed in a certain way, you know, that she had to be on the clock. It was good that she had some pretty hard experiences. I think uh, more vocal. Um, being able to explain, just being proud, confident um, of being able to be included and be part of this. First of all, he is very proud. There is a sense of purpose um, and he's very excited when he knows he's going to go to work. There's a, a change of uh, maturity. Thank you for you know giving our child this uh, incredible opportunity. This is just an exciting program to know that there's so much support and um, he has learned from the time that he was here just you know just ex expressing himself being confident. I feel organized and by cleaning up and make the place spotless. It feels good for me having like less like, support. I like my job because I like to meet new people and communicate with them. I learned a lot from like the papers and knowing how to sign people off, knowing how to ask staff for help. I think it's a great opportunity. It's, it's really working out well and I feel like it should continue.